how is everything organized here? What do you think? It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I think, did, I think it's a good job so far. I mean, we just got in last night, but we're staying in the Budweiser Hotel okay. they in the Intercontinental, and they did an amazing job. So, I mean, overall, like, first look, it looks great. Everything. In the airport, getting your fan ID. The airport was perfect. Everyone was so nice. The fan ID process has been quick. So, it's been good. And it was 2 in the morning, so they didn't have to be nice. We got in really late. Everything is very well organized. You have a lot of people working in the fan places and so on. Now we will go and see Lushniki and the stadium, how it works. Look so much forward to it. And it took me two minutes to get my fan ID over here and everything yeah. was perfect. So, it's yeah. when, when, you, uh, when you look Asian and you're from Denmark, then Russian people get a little bit confused. You know, yeah. they say, who is this guy? Who is he? But he's a champion. He's a champion. And then, then they say, the okay. okay. Did, did you come from Beijing or whatever? <laughs> okay. Yes, it's very good. It's very. You get your fan ID quick. Yes, yes, yes. But in my case, I know. I, I didn't. I didn't because uh, I have some problem. But when I come here, everything is was uh, very, very organized. Uh, was it difficult to get the visa? We did the fan ID. So easy. We went to Saint Petersburg and we just arrived and everything is good. Yeah, we like how everything is organized. The buses, the, the here's the metro and everything. And there is a lot of spots where you can find information. So but that's good. That's really good. Uh, um, really, it's, the city is very safe. And it's, it's clean and the people is very cool. And it's just, how is it? Very amable and very kind. kind. Uh -huh. Yeah. Russia is so organized, uh, the language is the most difficult point, but m many people say English no so good like me, but it's the minimal to reserve. Friends, the, the, um, all the team, all the support, it's very, very good job. From I think uh, the Russian people have worked very hard during the World Cup to make 24 hours on the under on the metro, 24 hours on the train. Everybody works very hard, so it's so everything is uh, organised good. Very well, good. Very good. I've been to eight World Cups with FIFA, and this is the best organised. But I think you are very prepared to make the World Cup. The world. What really do you like? How everything is organised here? Yeah. Yes, I, I really like that. Uh, I was I was. Um, paying attention to that particular question you asked. The main key is they hire young people. That's important. Young, young, young ladies. They're average between 18 years and 22 years. That makes a difference because all Russians, 45 and up, they don't, they don't really care about the World Cup. Uh, soccer is not a big thing for them, but they were trained the right way. They give in the right... Um, the right point of view and they're always willing to help every single time that I approach the FIFA store or the FIFA stand they're willing to help you they give you the right instructions so I find that important and your uh, people is more easy for for their to speak English to learn English and that's the point the right point young people here in this country are growing up to get a better future for, for may I ask you where did you meet uh, junk girls uh, when, uh, when I first got here in Moscow on my way to Kazan, I made uh, two contact with them. We were having problems with the train, so the lady was, the young lady was very helpful. And then we went to Kazan, same story. We went to the Kremlin in Kazan, and they give us bright instructions, fresh, always willing to help, smiling. So it, is, is, it makes it easier for the tourists. The volunteers. Yeah, the volunteers in the FIFA point, the FIFA point information is where the young ladies been and young people and show the, or, or helping the people to get the, the right direction. It's nice over there. Uh, uncomfortable now, but the, a few things maybe have to be better. But, but you, which, which one? Which things could be better? Like uh, the, the, the hotels. Uh, you, you have a very nice country to make the tourists become more strong. It explodes this, 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 this economy. Because you, if you see a very nice hotels, you can be uh, 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 comfortable to, to stay here. I believe that they, Russia, 
they need to take this opportunity. They gotta see it as a whole, not only folk, not only football oriented, not only soccer oriented. It's an opportunity to build an industry that you guys don't have. There is no tourist industry because uh, I've been in countries where everything is focused and oriented to to have a, a, the right attention to make you feel good. If uh, if that's more, if people knows more about it and they're or they're tourism oriented, you guys guys going to be successful because you guys have so many uh, beautiful places to visit. But if, if you, you don't, if you don't get the right attention, if you don't get the right advice, you're losing the opportunity to make it grow. So there is no tourist industry, I think, which is important and it's going to make a big impact in your economy. But you are clean, you are, have the, the people, you have the money and you have the, the feeling of, 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 of you are nice country. It's easy to, to, to be, be prepared to make a, the tourists, I mean the culture of tourists be more strong to make money. It's easy for you. I think so. But what, I mean, what I want to say is I hope um, Moscow is going to be open to us in future to come and it's easier to get to come here as a tourist. So the visa situation needs to come down. And yeah, yeah, I know because I have a father from Germany, yeah. and he has to go through this uh, bureaucracy every time he needs a visa. Oh, no. Yeah, we need we need to simpler rules. Simpler rules. We are all nice people. We want to come to your country because we loved your country. Is it uh, difficult for you to read the signs? Impossible. Impo it is. <laughs> No, we don't know. We don't know what it says. No, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. But go Google Traductor, everything okay. Oh, so Google Maps is helping. Yeah, yeah. The Cyrillic, yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. I think it's a little bit difficult, yeah. But uh, more and more Russians speak, uh, you know, a little bit of English and... A little bit, yeah, I think so. Um, so yesterday I met a girl and she used the phone and then we were talking through the phone, but then her friend spoke English, so it's good. It was kind of difficult because there are some signs that are just in Russian, but there are some others that also are in English, so that's good. Um, we ask people. Yeah. And people answer you? Very friendly. Oh, really? Everybody in Russia has helped us get around the country, and it's been, it's been amazing. But what about the English? They speak very good English in Russia. Oh, really? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's always going to be a challenge for people in other countries because uh, the letters are quite different from the what it used to be. But if you've been traveling a while, that won't be a problem. You just have to try to understand the, the matter and you will get there.